We start today with a Canadian exclusive for Entertainment City as Hollywood's leading ladies get fired up about gender equality at the Power of Women event in L.A. Gwyneth, Reese, Salma, Anna, Lisa, Tracy, Jenna. The atmosphere was certainly glamorous at the Power of Women event, but this wasn't just your average red carpet. Variety's biannual event celebrates Hollywood's most philanthropic and inspiring women. Salma Hayek is one of this year's honorees. I never think about it as give back. I was always participating before I was an actress, before I had anything to give. The hot topics at the event, female empowerment and equality for women. Hayek blasted the ever-growing Hollywood gender gap and gender disparity everywhere. Humanity cannot evolve as long as women are treated the way they're treated around the world. Gwyneth Paltrow certainly didn't hold back when speaking about those issues. The actress was honored for her work with LA Kitchen. Was combining a sense of responsibility to the community with food and those are two things that are very dear to me. And she delivered some serious motivation on stage. It is possible to be a woman who is ambitious while being a woman who is maternal, nurturing, sexual, and for other women. Of course, it was Oprah who brought down the house. True philanthropy comes from living from the heart of yourself and giving what you have been given. The power of women's youngest honoree was actress Anna Kendrick. Some people maybe think that it's a more apathetic generation, but that is... Actress Rosie Huntington-Whiteley was also on hand to present Moroccan Oil's Inspiration to Action Award. City's blackish star Tracy Ellis Ross emceed the event. From inspiration to celebration, John Legend and his wife Chrissy Teigen have announced there's a little legend on the way. Tegan is pregnant with the couple's first child. The news comes after she recently opened up about their struggle to conceive. On Instagram, the model wrote, It hasn't been easy, but we kept trying because we can't wait to bring our first child into the world. We're so excited that it's finally happening. Taylor Swift may have a long list of ex-lovers, but Calvin Harris is not one of them. Despite a recent flurry of split speculation, the couple appears to be as together as ever and annoyed by the rumor they'd broken up after Harris received a risque massage. Late yesterday, Harris tweeted, it's not going to be a happy ending for everyone I sue for defamation of character for all of these bull stories. Swift then favorited the tweet. Carrie Underwood is ready to make waves with her new album, Storyteller, out next Friday. And in part two of TK's interview with the country star, Underwood looks ahead to touring with her baby boy, Isaiah, who she shares with her hockey player husband, Mike Fisher. We've made a bus specifically designed for him. We have a crib in the back that's built in. How's Mike as a dad? He's awesome. He's such a great dad. We went to London and I had to leave him home, but it was so nice to know that, like, Mike's got this. The historical drama Brooklyn has been named Rogers People's Choice Award winner at the 34th Vancouver International Film Festival. The film also premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in September. And remember to get your entertainment news in the morning here first on Entertainment City and anytime on Twitter at Ed City.